Alright, Emo Masaki here reading Lonely Yuri. I guess it's a vi uh, visual game on visual novel of I guess a love story between two girls, but it looked really nice, so guess I get started. Hey, what's the sound? There's no sound. Or is there supposed to be sound? She didn't want to return her empty home to an empty home, which is why she accepted the request, even though she promised myself myself not to dive into these things without looking first anymore. The girl that dejected the dead the de the dejectedly thanks to herself diligently thanks to herself that this is just a um re reputation if I'm not mistaken of last year yeah I'm pretty sure it's not reputation and now it has even begun to rain so cold she doesn't want to bother talking her umbrella her umbrella oh she doesn't bother taking her umbrella out of her bag so she starts running instead Unfortunately, the house where she needs is too close by. Needs to go to is close by. This has to be the place. After a moment of hesitation, she rang the doorbell. Um, excuse me, my name is Kano. I'm in the same class as Aiba san. There was a relief relief reply from the other side and the iron gates swung open. Maybe they are being controlled by from someone from inside the house, of course. Fusa Kano stepped across the rail that guides the heavy gates thereby entering the garden of Eba residence <sighs> she only came here to deliver some communication printouts nothing more but right now Fusa is drinking tea brought to her to her by a woman she believes is Eva's mom mother for no reason other than that she couldn't turn down the invitation I really wish I knew why I'm such a pushover. Then again, it's pretty nice to have a hot cup of tea after have, having run through that cold rain. She readjusts re re her formal seating position as it was starting to slip. I wonder what Eva's son 
herself is doing right now. Her name is Eva. Her name is Eva. Something Eva? Fusa doesn't remember her first name. All she knows that she is pretty. Shoot. Truant girl, even that, even by her class standards. In fact, she hasn't attended school even once since the school's opening ceremony. This is the reason why Fusa is here in the first place to give printouts and notifications to Eva Sign. Her home, her homeroom teacher, more or less, dumped the t the test down to her. Dumped the test down to her. Sorry. The lady said she'd be back soon, but it comes up. It come up, come up on 15 minutes now. On the other side of the table was where Fusa was sitting there on the couch that must be a reserved seat the room across especially isn't very slow showly at all she was starting to stare at first but she stopped herself she feels it would be rude to be she feels that it would be rude, but she can't relax when she's in someone else's territory, especially when the master of the territory wasn't currently present. On the, ha on the other hand, even if the master, Ibasan, doesn't return, Fusa doesn't know how she's supposed to behave. She should just hand over the documents she came to deliver and be on her way. Or is there something else she's supposed to do? How are you doing? Won't you come to school? What are you doing here at home? No, she couldn't possibly ask questions like that. There's a limit of how meddlesome you can be. Um, Fusa regretted coming here. Even if the nothing she can do, nothing she can do about it now. What could she possibly say to the girl who never comes to school? Suddenly she feels very tired, so she lies forward into the table. From the other side of there, from the other side there, the sound of falling rain. It sounds like it's raining even harder now. But from here, the sounds muffled. It's actually quite soothing. The scent of the tea returned. <sighs> nostrils. Into her nostrils. It's very nice tea. Maybe because it is such a nice household. Fusa likes tea and yet she doesn't realize how nice these smell until the <laughs> nice this tea smell until she closes her eyes. She regrets that. She takes a deep breath. She thoroughly inhales the scent of tea.
Uh, now she's lying on the table, enjoying the scent of t the tea. Her body suddenly feels very relaxed. Her clothes and her hair almost dried out now. They're a little stiff but warm. <laughs> huh? It suddenly happened like something falling over. Huh? Ha. A powerful drowsiness overcome her and she couldn't strifle a yawn. Fusa in, in a voice of reason acts if she's actually planning on sleeping here but in spite of that the drowsiness continues to deepen her eyes her eyelids refuse to open with every breath the sound around her became faint fainter a warm feeling spreads her body spreads through her body Make, making her make her hands and her feet limp go limp <laughs> she's really in a dangerous she's really in danger of falling asleep now she needs to sit back now she needs to open her eyes that's right she needs to make an effort. Mm, uh, she's got to think that that will drive her off the urge to sleep. Drive off the urge to sleep. She could appear about what to say to Iba san when she appears in an instant for an instant. Or about when it would be protruding to protrude protrudent to leave, I think. Or about something else there's a lot of things about a lot of think lot to think about uh, I fell asleep just now didn't I her mind refuses to do it do job do its job the growing drowsy has swallowed sw swollen into a big white something which is smothering out her reason but I wasn't tired at all until just now maybe I Maybe I'm more tired than I thought. She thinks those words right when she needs an excuse. Maybe just a little while. As long as I wake up before Ibasan comes back, her body won't obey her thoughts anymore. Any anyway but at least she can't stop worrying she can stop worrying now Fusasan falls asleep lulled by the sound of the sound of rain outside
the warmth and smoothness feel the emptiness but they are quickly taken away soon nothing is left all the reduced nothing left all reduced to now nigh why more Fusa reaches out in her to her dream yearning to yearning for the sensation that just left her but absently of doesn't re the apps but the absence of it doesn't respond it never does or at least that what she thought Hmm. Um her hand are her hands are in fact touching something warm. She inst instantly knows what she's feeling is a body's warmth. Uh her whole body yearns for the warmth. She doesn't open her eyes yet. She doesn't, she just gropes along the air, searching for it. Hee <laughs> hee A laugh right from her ears here, but it wasn't her own voice. Actually, what hasn't, she haven't heard that voice before. What? She opens her eyes and her her gaze meets a <laughs> hollowly unfamiliar face. What? Hold on one 